getting through Zare charge shot mix ups from a distance. And then when you get in, it's like, it's not like the job is not finished once you get in. You yeah. still have yeah, to yeah. do the job when you get there. So it's like, all right, how do we do with the jab one mix up? How do we do with the up tilt, down tilt, all that nonsense? F tilt is just going to reset every single time. And of course, the almighty screw attack. If you ever mess up your approach, I'm deleting all the hard drive data. I'm just cutting it all off. Already, you know, it's looking like not too uh, out of the ordinary for SPF and both guys. You see SPF trying to get uh, this percentage, just falling us a little bit behind. But he's starting to get more close to Samus. And when he gets close, when he gets in, he's given the opportunity, he will do damage. But you have to watch out. These aerials will keep that fair, doing a lot of work for now. There we go, just putting the bike right there. And I wonder if the bike... It, it blocks charge on him, pretty sure. Like, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure it eats any level of charge shot, but I don't know how useful it would be to sitting there in center stage. I don't think Quick will want to break that straight away. You see, SF's going to try and mix in. Obviously, he's going to be flying around the stage, throwing aerials out. I know Quick's going to be locked each other as platforms. That's where that command grab is so helpful. All right, jab right there. And we just saw a key interaction right there. SBF tried to press a button because he thought he was quick enough to pressure Quick, and a Quick just presses that, that fast-ass jab and just shut the whole game plan down. You see... Quick knew exactly what FDF was going to do. He waited every single time for the roll. But he's going to be met with another charge shot again and again, loading up it's like a cycle. Every time I see Samus Forder hit, like the first three hits specifically, I'm like, okay, I'm fine. And then I have enough time to look at my percent. I go, oh, I'm yeah, dead. It's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm cooked. But uh, SBF, uh, he put a, a clean 90 on the Quick before he lost our stock, though. So nothing to scoff at at all. But we would love to have uh, just a little more damage. And ideally, we would get the stock right here. We don't fall too far behind. Get back in this game. I think that's SPF was trying to, has been trying to cross up too much. Yeah, but that doesn't really matter because Samus up B hits both sides. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're going to be getting caught by that button every single time. Can't touch a shield too happily. Again. I saw the startup of a uh, shield grab right there too. But screw attack again. Would you like to overrate all the data on this memory card? Yes? No, no, no. I didn't mean to click that. <sighs> you see... Uh, SBF, kind of throw that bike, just get any sort of pressure he can. Locked in shield, both of them respecting yeah, each other, playing. just a little bit too much. That fear coming in clutch. Playing a little bit of shield chicken right there. Then he was the first one to draw. All right, there we go. Back to center stage, but only momentarily. That sh charge shot catching him, dropping shield as soon as he does it. Not quick find, trying to find a way to land here. Somehow gets around that forward air. That power bomb movement, that's also something people don't talk about a lot with Samus, right? That power bomb movement. Mm -hmm. it, it is so deceptively tricky to actually try to catch her. Oh my, yo, you see what? The movement? You see the movement? I'm talking, I'm telling you, bro. The wave bouncing, the reverse, the charge shot makes, like you said, deceptive. That ambiguity. Where am I going to be? SPF did not know the answer. Nah, I don't, I don't think y'all get it. I don't think y'all get it. That was run off wave bounce charge shot. That was godlike. Are you kidding me? Okay, that, now that was pretty good, so I'll give you that. I'll quick give you that. Movement, I'm telling you. There's a reason he called Quick for a reason. I'm telling you. He's just, you know, going to be all around the place. Mm -hmm. Extremely nimble. All right, screw attack again. Bad approach. That backer, high backer on shields. Like, I'm, I'm popping the move, man. I'm sorry. I don't want to, but I got to. It's in my contract. All right, now let's get trying to find a way to get back in the game right here. Down a whole stock and then some. Desperately trying to cook something up right here. You can, kind of, you can just kind of feel the game plan shift after he lost that last time. Yeah, right? even though he got the grab there, it feels like he's getting just a little bit more impatient uh, with his approaches, whether it was grab and it's fair. And Quick is just going to eat up every day. You touch my shield, up B. Get too close to me, charge shot in your face, Zare poking you away. Even the, <laughs> even the crazy aerial bike approach from platform. That can, it catches a lot of people off guard, but you don't have to even prepare for it really if you're playing Samus. So you can react with shield, and then as soon as it hits shield, what do what, what you think I'm pressing, bro? Yep. Just take a guess. Even with the parries and the charge shots, he doesn't really have an answer. And I feel like in this matchup, we're just against zoners in general. Parry isn't even a, a, a case to punish him. Parry just means resetting the move. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I, I've, I've parried it. I don't, I'm not really going to get an advantage say of this. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reset the situation. Try and try again. He's here attacking on the most annoying 3% I've ever seen in my life. Now SBF, again, landing. Hop off the bike. And it does block a full charge okay. shot, but if but if Wario's on it, then it runs. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, power bomb dropping down, and now you got to pick something Ed here. I don't think up throw kills here. Not quite. Wario, a lot of weight on him. It's not all fat. You just just get it correct. He is fat, but it's not all fat. You get me? <laughs> all right, nice little run up grab right there. Definitely catching quick off guard because catch someone on the defensive when they have this much of a lead. All right, man. Ah. All right. Ah.
you gotta watch how you sit on the ledge. How do you set up the ledge trap? Don't think SPF was ready. You know Quick had that charge shot ready uh, to punish anything he did. Any awkward movement was getting blasted. Pause. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> I wasn't even gonna say nothing, bro. <laughs> My man just traumatized. It's been a long weekend, guys. My bad. Oh, man. They don't know about the meetup. Chill, chill. Man. Oh, God. All right. So, now that we're past that, uh, man, I forgot. I forgot all of my post game analysis. I'll go live. I just know. Tough game for SBF. They were chasing quick around the entire time, but now we're going to take it to a larger stage? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know, man. That's the, uh, the that's the high level player, not me. So I I, I can't really kind of poke at it. Mm -hmm. But I will say that right off the rip, I'm not really sure how um how, how will having more space at Quick's disposal because you also have to think about that when you pick your counter right? Right. I don't know how giving Quick more space here is going to help him out. But I will say that the platform layout does kind of remove the movement shenanigans that Quick loves to go for. Yep. So maybe that plays into it. I was more so thinking because the ceiling's so big, uh, these up throw kills aren't going to be doing as much work. But that up to, like you talked about, yep. doing way more work than we thought, putting in a huge shift right now. Yeah, taking you the know, stock off the side at 99 exactly. on Wario. All right, so what we got here? All right, there we go. I like that. Quirk's got a shield. That, that's very underrated. Pretty unconventional, but it works. It works. I'm, I'm very happy Wario players are starting to use it now. I saw Gluto do that a lot this weekend. He, he was just catching people in any situations, uh, extended edge guards, yep. uh, bad aerial approaches, even. It just quirks through. Like, it's, it's a pretty strong, good hitbox. You know, just use it more. Oh, that was godlike catch on that, that yeah, landing. Yeah, right the with a charger. It's like you got nowhere to go. Right. All right, so now we're on the ledge. Power bomb out. Oh, run up, dash back, and guess what? The charge shot is out. Now you have to make another decision, and you guessed wrong right there, but luckily so did Quick. Yeah, so that was a nice slow. She definitely would have caught Quick. This is in FPS head at the moment. He knows where he's going to be. Has options covered. It's like he's been here before. You can see the Gluto experience playing this old. Mm. Now we finally get that stock off for 121, man. And this is what we talked about in the set versus Curry G. Now you got to make a tough decision, right? Yep. Because you have Waft now. But it's like, if I get my hit in and I take that stop, uh, I have to use it, right? But they, but God forbid I fall behind later in the game, you know? I feel like Sam's not really the, the most approach heavy person in general. Um, people, <laughs> people know that back at home. Uh, the nicest way of saying he's got a can be. And that, well, that can be. Okay. But, you know, still oh, send the wrong direction, doesn't too. Doesn't kill off the waft with I feel like you want to use it now, get the kill, and maybe sell it for a half of the next stop. But he's got a try and chase that right now he's already burned it that's unfortunate that yeah, and, and you immediately get clapped up mm. by the charge shot man that that's probably the worst case scenario right there use the wop doesn't kill then you immediately die like that's i gotta pick up a new character it's man tough. Like, I, like, I, like i'm done playing wario bro like i've seen it all all right all right but that dash is gonna catch quick right before they land can you capitalize on that though the back are gonna stuff that out and okay. the shoot again just coming out the fair and the Zaz trying to make that mark. Up here in the floor, that's so much damage, man. Sad. Ooh. B reverse okay. into the, the cross up roll. Now, you see they're trying to like, start to take it slow uh, more and more. I feel like Quick's backing off a little more because he can. He's got a big lead. SW just can't find the second stock. Let's see. Dash attack under the charge start, but not gonna get a stock in there. Bike at ledge, it's gonna miss completely. As, uh, now Quake is going to get SBF off him with that charge shot from off stage. Oh, blocks the screw attack, dash attack, and it's too stale to actually kill. I thought he was gonna go for an up smash or an F tilt. But goes to dash attack instead. That was sneaky. That was very sneaky. The reversals from Quick on the ledge, you have to be so careful of where you wanna be. That charge shot catching him yet again. It's like every time, man, you feel like you're right there. You feel like you finally got him in your clutches, and then he just pulls out another coward out of the deck. There's only supposed to be 12 wild cards in this deck, man. Why do you have 19? You cheating, that's why. That's what they all do? Yes. All, all Samus players yes. cheat? Yes. He's right, by the way. All y'all cheat. Don't talk to me about she needs it. 
This character's honest. <laughs> um, why they nerfed my character. No! None of that. And you have to wonder, where do you think SPF wants to go now? You know, he tried the bigger stage for the platformer, like you talked about, maybe for the, the ceilings, like I talked about with the up throw stuff. But that didn't really work. He was still chasing. Uh, if anything, he, was, he, he made that stage Quick's advantage. Right. He was chasing Quick all around the stage. And he, he ain't got Quick in his name. You know what I mean? <laughs> he got SBF in his name. That, I, I feel like it sounds slow, Bricks Frank, at the moment. He's not really doing too much. Yeah, you're not going to be He's faster too than Quick, to man. Fight, you know, to, to catch up to Quick. We're right. still going back to the same stage. Right. I, I was going to say uh, maybe Smashville. I want to see. I, I wanted to see, rather, how limiting the space that Quick has would work out for him. Yeah. But um, maybe they saw something in this game that we didn't. They're willing to go back in for this, uh, this third game here on Town & City once again for uh, the second game in a row. But now, let's, uh, let's see if we see something. But I will say, screw attacks are missing for some reason. They, they, they're not hitting like they used to back in the day. Mm -hmm, not so. All right, Spike, all the way across stage, and Quick just not, not even playing with that. Just um, This forward air is going to hit, and this charge shot is going to connect into a smash attack. I want y'all to understand that that's not normal behavior. For Sam is here, she's got a lot of she's got projectiles. A complete zoner, of course. And look at how much space she controls. And almost getting that stock right there at 70-something, man. The back air almost taking the stock at 91 post-hit. Town of City sides not doing any favors for SBF, but luckily they were able to hang on to that stock, and now we have an extra opportunity to tack on some damage and even heal some off of ourselves. Let's go, Chomp. Okay. All right, catching that jump after the regular getup. If SBF can capitalize on these ledge situations just a little bit, I feel like when you're in these sets where you don't have a whole lot of uh, agency and what happens, you have to be on it every time you get the advantage, right? Yeah, I agree. Then just like that, they got it. They got the back air on that getup right there, and they're in the lead here. But now you have to play the hard part. Like, how can you continue to add on damage, right? You have oh, to that watch out for the bombs. You have to watch out for the bombs. It's going to take them instead. It's a really good option. Just eat them. It doesn't really matter about that as long as you avoid the ledge trap. But Chris is going to set that up again. Yeah. The up air clipping him. Doesn't find the kill though. Still sets up the ledge trap again. Like I said, it's a cycle. How do you get past it though? Quick looking like a repo man. Not letting him touch that bike at all. The city needs that back. You ain't pay your taxes, big man. Don't want to pay the taxes. I'm sure he just wants to keep on stay on stage. Be in town city for a reason. Command it. But again, there's up airs. And it's not going to kill. 210 on town is not. This is also not no. Oh, that he was waft. That was waft. Oh, my. We were about to be in the casino. Oh, oh my God. Man. That was waft. That was waft. He pulled the bike out. Oh, my God. Imagine man. you go to the toilet, but you put your bike out instead. <laughs> there's a reason that never happens, bro. Wow. That's a recipe for disaster. I don't know if you can I undo my belt buckle bicycle. Ah. How the motorcycle get in here? Oh, I think man. SPF is ready for these uh, desperate charge shots. Whenever Quick's in a dis dis uh, disadvantage, he floats back onto the stage, throws it out. SPF is going to jump over it, but still getting put in disadvantage. He needs to find a lead right now. He's bleeding at the moment. I, I know I'm still, I'm still stuck on it, but if you're SPF, you cannot be dwelling on... I could have been up three stocks to one right now. You just have to just buckle down, reset, and get back into the game, man. But it it, it cannot be overstated how different this game could be if the inputs were were a little cleaner, you know? Yeah, I agree. I've been loving the charge shot baits. And whenever he counts it, is he going to grab you? Is he going to be uh, applying more pressure? That was a great uh, drop down there. Oh, the my there, God. Yeah. He's just mixing up SPF on the shield and he's just keeping him guessing all the time. And he's giving SPF so many options to think about in his head. And every time he thinks about it, he's got one option in the head, you know, you've got something to worry about, getting a back air to the back of your head. Uh, and Quick just looks so confident right now. He's just so clean, so composed. Even when he, it looked like he was about to be down a lot in yep. the game, just kept it clean. Just stay calm. I have a game plan. I'm sticking to it, man. I know how to fight you. You know how to fight me. But the difference is I know how to do it better. But uh, fortunately for SPF, still has that X factor of Waft. Uh, if he takes the stock, the percent lead really, we always say yeah, no, it's a yeah, yeah. it really just doesn't matter. Yeah, well, once you get the stock off, the, the, the percentages disappear off the screen. Yep. It, it does not matter at that point, but you it's have like to get to that point. You hear that PS1 sound, you know, just the <laughs> turning off sound, or the turning on sound, let's say. We're back to it. Keeping right. it retro. Getting off, getting off the ledge right here. I like the Ooh. fake out right there, making it look like he was going to that platform, then immediately dropping out to the ledge. And now SBF trying to rush to get that stock off, but that charge side is acting like the bouncer at the club at 11.59 p.m. You're not getting in without a fee, man. And you can 
can see him backing off quick. You know, every time he charges it, he floats around him, sizing him up just to get ready, just to fire it and, and when he's least expecting it. Oh, the reverse F-Tilt. He had some huge size from cooking. But that screw attack just burned down the whole damn kitchen, man. Quick. Gonna take it 3-0 over SBF. And I, I hate to do this, but you really do have to think about we could be going to game four.